Welcome to Who is Cool Kids BTV Star. My name is Me Star, your game host. Today we have four contestants who will be challenging each other to become our Cool Kids BTV Star. Let me introduce you our first contestant, and she's Hannah. She is nine years old, and her favorite color is pink. Next. We have Gava. Gava is 10 years old, and he loves to eat burgers. Okay, our third contestant today is Brandon. Now Brandon is 10 years old, and he loves to do coding as a hobby. Last but not least, our final contestant is Angelina. Angelina is 11 years old, and she wants to be a PE teacher when she grows up. Welcome, contestants, to our game show. Who is Cool Kids BTV Star? Kids at home watching this, you can join in the fun too. But before that, let's first tell you the rules of the game. You can choose to answer a question from any of these categories about Jesus, faith, Holy Spirit, prayer, resist temptation, and God is our healer. Once you have chosen a category, I will ask you a question, and you have 30 seconds to answer. So, contestants, are you ready? We have already played a game to decide who will go first, and Angelina is first to go. All right, Angelina, can you choose from the six categories? Which category do you want to choose? Resist temptation. Resisting. Temptation. temptation, is it? All right. So Angelina has chosen the question resisting temptation. Angelina, the question is: What does James chapter one verse fourteen say that we are tempted by? Is it a our own evil feelings, b our own evil thoughts, c our own evil desires? Or D, our own evil hearts. Your 30 seconds starts now. C. C. All right, Angelina has chosen C, and the answer is correct. All right, now let's go to Brandon. Brandon, which category do you want to choose from? Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. All right, and so. The question about Holy Spirit is: Which of the following words describe the Holy Spirit? Is it A. Comforter, B. Helper, C. Teacher, or all of the above? And your thirty seconds starts now. B. D. All of the above. Do you say D. All of the above? No helper. Helper. Helper, I'm so sorry, Brandon. The answer is D. Our Holy Spirit is known as Comforter, Helper, and Teacher. So the answer should be all of the above. But don't worry, you can try again later in round two. All right, next, Gava. In which category do you want to choose from? Faith. Faith. All right. The question about faith is: Who asked Jesus to let him? Walk on water. Who asked Jesus to let him walk on water? Is it A. Mark, B. Peter, C. Paul, or D. John? B. B. B for boy. B. The answer is Peter. Do you say Peter? All right. Gava, good job. Now, um, Hannah. Last but not least, Hannah. Can you choose a category? God. About Jesus? Yeah. All right. Now the question about Jesus is, who is Jesus? A. Is Jesus the apostle? B. Is Jesus the Messiah? C. Is Jesus the Pharisee? Or D. Is Jesus the Sadducee? B. B. Jesus is the Messiah. Do you say B? Yes. All right, Hannah. You got the answer correct. Jesus is the Messiah. Well done. 
Good job, contestants. So now we're going to go to round two. Angelina, back to you. Can you choose one category to answer the question from? Faith. Faith. All right. So the question from Faith is, what did Jesus say we can do when we have faith as small as a master seed in Matthew chapter 17, verse 20? A. Cut the Red Sea. B. Turn water into wine. C. Move the mountains. Or D. Walk on water. D. D. You say D. Walked on water. I'm so sorry, Angelina. The correct answer is move the mountains. And when we have faith as small as a mustard seed, we can move the mountain. Can I have Brandon? Brandon, can you choose a category, please? Temptation. The question is, what can temptation lead to? A. Goodness. B. Kindness. C. Justice. Or D. Sin. D. D for sin? Yes. All right, Brandon, that is the correct answer. That's right, temptation can sometimes lead to sin. Good job. Okay, now we go to Geva. Geva, can you choose a category, please? Prayer. The question about prayer is, what is prayer? A, talking to friend. B, talking to daddy. C, talking to God. Or D, talking to yourself. C. C, talking to God, is that your answer? Yes. Yes? You are correct, Geva. Prayer is talking to God. Well done. All right, next we have Hannah. Hannah, can you choose a category? Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit? Okay. What was the first thing which Peter did after he received the Holy Spirit? Is it A, celebrate with the other disciples? B, went out to heal the sick? C, share with the crowd about Jesus as a Messiah? Or D, prayed and fasted? C. C, share with the crowd about Jesus as a Messiah? Is that your answer? All right, good job, Hannah. You got the answer correct. Congratulations for this round. All right, contestants, we have come to the final round. Our third question. Angelina, can you choose a category, please? God the Healer. God the Healer? All right. Now, the question about God the Healer is, why was the crippled man at the temple gate? A, to beg for money. B, to lie down and sleep. C, to pray for healing. D, to sing and dance. A. A, to beg for money. Is that your answer? All right, Angelina, you got the answer correct. Congratulations. Now, let's go to uh, Brandon. Brandon? Prayers. Can you choose a Prayers? All right. Questions about prayer is, what does Hallowed be your name means. Is it A, God's name is sovereign? B, God's name is holy? C, God's name is merciful? Or D, God's name is just? A. A, God's name is sovereign? Yes. I'm so sorry. The answer is not A. The answer should be B. God's name is holy. All right, good job, Brandon, for trying. Well done. Now, let's go to Geva. Geva, can you choose a category? Holy Spirit. The question for Holy Spirit is, what did Peter tell the people to do? Is it A, to turn away from sin? B, to be baptised in the name of Jesus Christ? C, to turn away from sin and be baptised in the name of Jesus Christ? Or D, to do nothing? C. To turn away from sin and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? C. Yes? Right, Geva, you have the correct answer. That's right. After Peter received the Holy Spirit, he asked the people to turn away from sin and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Well done, Geva. And last but not least, we have Hannah. Hannah, can you choose a category? 
Faith. Question about faith is what is one thing we base our faith on? A. Who God is. B. Who we are. C. Our attitudes. Or D. Our feelings. A. We base our faith on who God is. You are right. That's the correct answer. After three rounds of questions, we have a tie between Gava and Hannah. Yay! So we are going to name them the BTB Cool Kids BTB Stars of this game show. So congratulations, Gava and Hannah. All right, now Brandon and Angelina. You have done a great job too, alright? I know it's very difficult to hear the questions from the Zoom but you did well trying to answer the questions. So hooray for you as well! We have come to the end of the game show. Did you answer the questions correctly? Well, we hope to see you and I'm Miss Star, your game host. See you next time! Thank you, Miss Star, our game host and the contestants for participating in our Who is Cool Kids BTB Star. That was an exciting game. Do you know all the answers? Well, we have come to the end of our Back to Basics series and we've learned so much about Christian faith for the past six lessons. Hmm, something smells nice. Do you love nice smells? Well, Auntie Debbie especially loves the smell of food. Hmm. When Auntie Debbie works from home, I can smell the food which my neighbours are cooking. And the smells will make my mouth water and I will feel hungry and have cravings. Do you know that the kind of life we live also leaves a smell? It can be a sweet smelling kind of life when we show love and kindness to people or it can be a stinky life like the garbage truck filled with gossip, hurtful words and selfishness. Today's memory verse is from Ephesians chapter 5, verse 2. Live a life of love. Love other people just as Christ loved us. Christ gave Himself for us. He was a sweet-smelling offering and sacrifice to God. Because of God's love for you and me, He sent Jesus to die on the cross to save us. The blood of Jesus washes away our sin and makes our heart clean. Jesus died on the cross for us, but three days later, He rose from the dead. He is alive. Jesus defeated both physical and spiritual death. We don't have to live in fear, shame or guilt. We can live a life that is sweet and fragrant, leading others to God, so that others will know that we are children of God. Children, remember, we want to shine for God with our words and actions. Let's keep loving our families and friends. Let's keep showing kindness to our neighbours. Let's keep praying. Let's keep sharing boldly the gospel to others. Let's keep encouraging one another in our faith. Let's love and follow God with all of our heart, souls, minds and strength. Right, I will see you next week. Ayah, I forgot about my food. <laughs>